Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We got Boom Daikin here. So today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about firework safety in regards to mortar racks. Now, uh, for those of you who are really experienced, uh, this pro probably really doesn't pertain to you. But for those of you who have never really shot with a rack before, I uh, just wanted to share with, uh, with you some of my experiences that I've had in the past uh, regarding this kind of rack. So uh, this is an 11 shot mortar rack and I added these two legs on it just for extra stability. And as you can see, you know, you have a little bit of play here between a lot of the tubes. These are fiberglass tubes. And um, I've had this rack now for about a good, uh, I wanna say I got this back in 2016 and I've never really had any problems with it. But one year, I had some issues with it, so uh, let's go ahead and get into this review. All right, so a few years ago, I had a problem with this rack. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of play here. Nothing really to you know be concerned about. And so every year that I've used this mortar rack, I've always used, I believe this is called Vlask Fuse. Uh, this is the kind of fuse that I've always used with this particular rack uh, when shooting my show. Uh, sometimes I've shot individual items one by one from this, obviously never had an issue. But then of course I shot them in a, an 11 shot uh, succession, which means, you know, one at a time, never had any issues. But in 2018, I decided to use this rack and use the Hobby Quick Fuse. And that was an interesting experience. Uh, reason being, because this rack had so much play in it, you know, and it rattles, but because the Quick Fuse allowed the, t uh, the mortars to fire really quickly in succession, it didn't give the rest of the tubes a chance to settle in the base and so some of these actually popped out, as you can see here in the video from the aerial display. So fortunately, nobody was hurt. Uh, obviously I had everything around me protecting me. And again, I had never had that issue. The only thing that was different was I decided to use the quick fuse, which fires really rapidly, instead of going with the regular blast fuse, which is typically what you would find on all of your shells, it burns a little bit slower. So using this type of fuse allows the sh um, it allows the tubes to resettle in the base. It allows it to kind of reset a little bit and kind of take away some of that jeering action that you would typically expect once a shot goes off. But yeah, this definitely caused problems. Um, again, nobody was injured, and uh, a couple of tubes, you know, flew out. So uh, this year, I decided to go ahead and add these legs to it. I was supposed to do this a couple years ago, but I really didn't even use this tube, you know, too much. And uh, even if you put rocks or whatever, or uh, sandbags, you know, it's still going to give you a little bit of a rocking issue. Um, I know a lot of manufacturers and guys who are making uh, these tubes. And again, I didn't make this. This is what I bought just by itself. Uh, they're putting that extra styrofoam in there but again that may cause an issue because you know it'll still shake it could possibly pop out uh due to this kind of fuse because this allows everything to kind of shoot off all at once almost because that's just how quick it is but um anyway just wanted to make sure that you guys stay safe out there uh a, a, a rack like this is definitely safe but you want to be mindful of the kind of fuse you're using with it because it may not be able to take the impact from the launching mechanism from any of your shells. So um, I do have some other tubes here. Never had a problem with any one of these. Obviously I made this little base here to kind of make sure nothing flips over, but quite possibly this could, you know, happen with this type of typical uh, pole man's rack as people like to refer to it as. But, um, and then of course this one here has a firmer base. Uh, I usually mount this in grass and stuff. And then of course put some rocks and a bunch of other stuff on it. So really doesn't have any play, but 
just wanted to share with you guys my experience in regarding this as far as the type of fuse that you can use with your tubes because um, yeah of the experience I had them launching up and of course these aren't even mounted uh, in there so uh, do your due diligence guys just wanted to put this out there you guys stay safe have a happy 4th of July I'll catch you later bye bye